Well, we, I got an email about this dog that was in really rough shape in a shelter in Idaho. And they said, they thought he was about two. He'd been found in Craters of the Moon National Reserve, which is basically a desert that looks like what I imagined the moonscape would look like, covered in lava. It looks like a lava field, basically. And he was found out there, um, very dehydrated and starving and limping, uh, matted, he stunk of sheep. And um, yeah, somebody out there found him and brought him to the shelter. So they contacted me about him and they said that he had a carpal strain in his paw and they thought he had hurt his paw and probably on the lava. And, but he was fine and asked if I would take him and they sent me this sad, sad picture of him with his leg looking kind of off and looking all yellow and dirty and matted and an animal control officer was holding his leash. Um, his head was kind of turned away from the camera. And yeah, it, I see a lot of pictures of dogs in shelters that need to be pulled and there was just this draw about that picture. And so I said I would take him. And they said, well, we can get him neutered for you and get his rabies and usually uh, some of the shelters can do it real um, cheap. So I wasn't ready to take him because I was about to leave town for two weeks. So I asked if they could hold him and they said they would. And so they took him to a vet and had him neutered and brought him back. So now he had been seen by two vets at this point. And I asked how his paw was doing and they said, didn't seem to be improving, but second vet saw him. Well, they weren't that concerned. And so I went ahead and left town and I had a pet sitter here staying with my dogs and I got a call from one of the volunteers at the shelter who worked to get dogs out and she told me that he had stopped eating, that he hadn't eaten in several days and they were all very concerned for him. And they had a long haul trucker who sometimes transported dogs out of the shelter to new homes and to fosters who was leaving the next day and he was going to Portland. And they asked if I could take him the next day. And I wasn't home, so I uh, called my pet sitter and I asked her if she would mind having this random, strange, large male dog showing up, if she could take care of him too. And uh, I said, yeah, I know. They told me that he was in bad shape. And she said, no, not just bad shape, like really bad. And she said, you know how you told me he had a strained paw? And I said, yeah. She said, I think it's a lot worse than that. And she said, I'm going to take some video and I'm going to send it to you. Um, but she said he, when he walks, his leg dangles and it crunches. And she said, so either his shoulder's dislocated or his leg's broken. And she said, I don't know what those vets were thinking, but they were, they obviously didn't care. And so luckily, you know, I had anti-inflammatories and pain meds, so we started him on those right away. And I came back from the beach and took him to the vet and immediately looking at him, she said, yeah, he's got a broken leg. So we did x-rays and it was a ulna fracture and it was pretty severe and, and multiple, broken in multiple places. And I remember at that moment thinking, she, showed, uh, she took me in the back to show me the x-rays and I remember just thinking, what a remarkable dog this is. He never once showed any aggression, growl. All he did was wag his tail want to be with you and I was just so angry really it however he ended up in that desert like this and so angry at the vets that didn't give a darn and so thankful that he was in a good place and that I had him and so we raised money on Facebook in a really short period of time um, had some video of my son with him and it was heartbreaking but a lot of wonderful people donated money and he got his surgery. It was a pretty complicated surgery. They had to do bone grafts and he had a long recovery. And um, he really needed to gain weight because he was so incredibly emaciated. And he kind of got through all that. I fostered him for a very long time. And I remember one day just looking at him because he was finally getting to the place where he was healthy enough and ready to be posted on Pet Finder. And I looked at him and I was like, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Took some pictures and video for it. and. I was like, yeah, I think I need to, and I just, no, like after everything that he had been through, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. And 
know, people always ask me because I foster a lot of dogs. Oh my gosh, it's just, you know, I could never foster. It'd be too hard, you know. Um, I could never give them up, and I was always like, when you have enough dogs, you, it's easy to give them up, and you're really happy to see them leave. But I was like, yeah, this one's staying. And so he's been one of the most amazing dogs I've ever known, and really, really thankful that he ended up spending this incredible wonderful, happy, healthy year with us that he got to have probably the best year of his life. Didn't have to guard any sheep or goats. He didn't have to worry about getting fed. Uh, didn't have to worry about pain. And just got to mostly lay around and sleep and bark at stuff. So it's been an amazing run. And we've been very, very blessed to have Find your 